Good morning, guys. Um, I sat there thinking about what I'm going to talk to you fellas about today, and ladies, and I thought I'm going to talk you through a lesson and um, basically something I feel very passionate about, making sure you get your money, your money's worth on a lesson, you know. Even some people that are at the top of the sport that can shoot fairly decent scores, they give lessons, uh, and I watch them from afar, and I have students come to me that have been coached by these people. And the information that's being passed or lack of it is simply uh, atrocious. So I just thought I'd walk you through what would happen on a lesson with myself for, for, for the first time of meeting for a rough, say, B-class shooter, just so we can start to get a feel of where things would go from there. So first thing we do, you know, you'd walk in, we'd sit down, uh, take some notes quickly on your goals aspirations, what job you do. And I think that jo what job you do is actually very important because I'm going to be relating back to it, trying to get you to understand what I'm trying to say. Um, we'd start to make plans of where you want to be. Like I tried to say on my live feed last night, I'm going to teach you on a staircase, not a ramp. You're going to get better, but you're going to get progressively better. So once we're better, we stay better and we don't get worse. Not up and down, up and down. My job as a coach is to make your lower scores better. That'll raise your top game. But if we're going to be doing it, we're not going to go to raise this and keep this here. We're going to push this to push that. So, you know, we're going to go for a goal of an 80, but a low of a 75. We don't want a high of an 80 and a low of a 65. That's just, that means we're getting nowhere. So after we've had a chat and we've gone over the basics of what we're going to be doing, first thing we do is take to the range. And I'm going to watch you shoot 10, 12, 15 shots. I'm going to get a feel for what you do consistently, but more so inconsistently. Taking a look at your hold points, your methods, your break points, your feet, your movement. And I might not cover them all in the first lesson, but I can start to take plans and make notes. The very next thing is gun fit. Gun fit and balance. We're going nowhere without that. Um, it doesn't matter what level you are, I'm still going to check your gun fit. Now, we might not be able to make it perfect, but we need to get it somewhere near. Um... You know, if you're brand new to the sport, we're going to fit it slightly differently. If you're a B-class shooter, you should be mounting quite the same place every time. And I'm going to get that fitted and balanced up to you perfectly. I'm then going to walk you into the classroom. I'm going to sit you down. And I'm going to explain three fundamentals, the viewpoint, the hold point, the kill point. And we're going to go over those scenarios and see how you feel about them. And, note, and then go over the differences that we've made compared to how you're doing it before I start explaining the method I'm going to teach you. Now, on meth on day one, I'm going to go through the pull-away method. I find every other method is um, easy to learn once we've got the pull-away method dialed in. But it's also a method we're going to use predominantly the most, so we might as well learn it and make some big strides in going forward. Um, we're also going to touch back on the gun fit again later on. Just because we fitted it in a classroom, it might not be how you're mounting it when we get out on the range. So we're going to keep our eye on the gun fit as well. We're then going to take to the course, picking out specific targets that I shoot in certain orders. Incomers, outcomers, semi-incomers, semi-outgoers, crossers. In that order, I'm going to get you to start buying into the methods, buying into the whole points, making sure that you understand the variables of the pull-away method as I explained in a video before. How long can you point at it and how big is the lead? All of a sudden, you'll start to see, and I guarantee you will start to see more consistency. You're going to be breaking targets in a consistent way that you haven't broke them before. By this time, we're probably touching on an hour's rest, on an hour's lesson, sorry. So we're going to take a five-minute break. Now, we don't need the five-minute break. I certainly don't need the five-minute break, but your brain does. What I want you to do is absorb this information. This is not a quick fix lesson. This is not to make you better today. This is to make you better tomorrow. I could walk around behind you on the course, tell you the lead of every bird out there, and you'll hit every bird. That doesn't mean I've made you better. That just means I've gave you some of my knowledge to make you feel good about yourself. And that's what a lot of these instructors do. You're in front, you're behind. Slow it down with your eyes. I mean, complete bullshit. You know, this, it's the speed of what it is. You're not slowing it down. Um, I don't need to know why I'm in front. I don't need to know why. I don't, sorry, I don't need to know that I'm in front. I want to know why. Is it my whole point? Is it my swing speed? That's what needs fixing. So that's what we'll be talking about over the coffee. We're going to look at then going out and then we're going to start moving on to pairs, hitting two hold points, being able to do the method twice and understanding that how our feet are going to set up. I would go through body movement with you to understand that we have to defend our right side as a right-handed shooter. By this point, you're going to start to feel physically tired. We're going to have about 30 minutes left of, the, of a two-hour lesson. And this is when I'm going to put the hammer down. 
This is when I'm going to see if you drop backwards when you're tired. I'm trying to get you to that point, and that's when you'll learn. This last 30 minutes is the key segment. It's like in the gym, the last two reps are the important reps, and that's what we're doing now. This is where we override bad habits. This is where we make good habits habits. This is where the muscle memory will be learned in this next section. This is where you're going to drive to become better. And I'll be telling you, look, I do not care how many you break. I may tell you that's the perfect shot. doesn't mean you hit it. That means technically you were perfect and you only missed by the lead. Lead your problem. If I, Like I said a minute ago, I can tell you the lead, that's not going to help you. My job is to make you better in the stand. Your job's the link between the gun and the clay at, the, at this moment in time. After we've hit the lesson down, we'll sit down, we'll document the whole lesson so you've got it take away with you and study. And this is when the student usually says, Ben, when do I need to see you again? And if you're not a very good instructor and you've not got a lot of work, you'll lie to them and you'll say, you know, two weeks. No, I don't need to see you for six weeks. You've got to put a thousand shells, 800 shells down this gun before I need to see you again. I don't want to charge you for this lesson again. So you need to go away and make this lesson dialed in. Then we move on to lesson two, which is swing through a movement. So we're going to look at two different things there, which we may cover later on in this week. But if you're not getting those things from a lesson that I've just told you, you're not had a lesson. You've paid somebody to press buttons for you. And that's the problem with this sport. Um, you know, you can tell by my ranting that I'm very passionate about it. And the shit instruction that's out there really, really, really drives me insane. Um, if you get in the car from a lesson and you're sitting and you're driving home, and there's nothing to work on, there's nothing to think about, there's nothing... Oh, damn, I need to ask some questions. If those three things don't happen, you haven't had a lesson. You've just had somebody press buttons for you and you've broke some clay. So hopefully I'm going to, when we get back to the shooting ground, I'm going to carry these up for you and I'm going to talk you through and film a lesson. So you'll start to see how, in, you know, how deep I go on a lesson and, and how much deeper I do go. If anybody watches this on YouTube that has had a lesson from me, please feel free to comment, help the other viewers out. Um, hopefully see you on Instagram tonight for the Jamaican night. We're going to have a lot of fun. And um, stay safe, guys. Hope this helps.